Hello, hi, hello. So today I'm going to be painting artwork on random items that I have at my house. Because last week while I was preparing for everything, I bought every single thing that I needed except art supplies. I forgot to buy art supplies before my whole entire state shut down and all the stores are closed except for like the essential grocery stores, so. So yeah, not the best move on my part, but in some better news, today's video is sponsored by, drum roll please, Raycon. Co-founded by Ray J, Raycon was created as a way to get stylish, comfortable, premium sounding earbuds that don't break the bank. And their newest model, the Everyday E25, is definitely my current favorite. It has a whopping six hours of earbud playtime. On top of that, the portable case can charge earbuds up to four different times on a single charge. It comes with easy Bluetooth pairing, crystal clear base, a sleek portable compact design, and a variety of colors to choose from. And the thing that I love about the earbuds is that it comes with a variety of fitting options to fit almost anybody. Not to mention they're comfortable to wear all day long. In fact, I wore them the entire time I made this video. And the best part is, is that Raycon earbuds start about half the price of other premium earbuds. And they sound just as amazing as other top audio brands. So if you want to join me in owning a pair of Raycon wireless earbuds, head on over to buyraycon.com slash superraydizzle. And by the way, click that link down below and you'll get 15% off your order. So shout out to Raycon. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this video. And uh, yeah, let's go find some stuff for me to paint on. All right, so starting off, I would like to introduce everybody to my robot vacuum. His name is Clyde. Go, go, go. I haven't been able to use him for a few months because somebody's hair <coughs> keeps getting caught in it, but he's a good boy. He tries his best and today he deserves a makeover. All right, so the first thing that I need to do is give homeboy a good wipe, a good bath. That way I can have a nice clean surface for the paint to stick to. Now the next step is to prep. So I'm gonna get some acrylic gesso, slap that bad boy on, put a thin layer, even though it doesn't look thin, but I promise it's a thin layer, and just let it vibe off to the side for a few hours. Now for this next step, it might seem a little weird, and to be honest, I don't even know if it's gonna work. Like, I know it works for nails, but I'm gonna get these makeup wedges and slowly dab on a gradient night sky onto my vacuum. Now the sponge worked really well, 10 out of 10, would recommend. Now I want it to look extra sparkly, so see what I'm doing with my finger? I'm basically gonna get some very diluted white paint and flick on a whole entire galaxy of stars. Now to add in the foreground. And for the foreground, I'm going in and adding some little trees. Bob Ross style, baby. And just start building up my world and just start adding trees and giving it more of a, I guess like a little story element. And just to mess with people, I'm gonna add a little spaceship in there that you can only see if you're like super close to the vacuum. And this brings us to before, sad, boring, versus now. All right, so I have this jacket that I've had for maybe about six weeks now. And for some reason, I have yet to wear it. And you know, I always see on TikTok people painting on their clothes. So I'm putting two and two together and I'm gonna paint on this denim jacket. Now, I really don't want to mess this up, so going in with a white Prismacolor pencil, I am going to start marking out the outlines of my boy, David. Now, 
Now, I don't have fabric paint, which you're technically supposed to use, because, you know... I'm in quarantine! So instead, I'm just going to be using plain old acrylic, and, you know, we'll see what happens. Usually acrylic stains clothes, and I, I, I'll just have to be very careful when I wash it. Now for the design, I am going for a vaporwave style pastel David portrait. And if you don't know what vaporwave is, it's kind of like a, it's, it's definitely an aesthetic. It's like a, a retro futurism, bright neon kind of thing. I've dabbled into it before on my channel, but I really love that for clothes. And I think it'll look really cool with like the denim jacket. It's just, uh, it's gonna look so cool. Okay, okay, okay. So my boy David here is done. He is looking so good so far. Even though I'm not good at acrylic, I'm very happy with how this came out. And now this leads me to the next thing that I wanna work on and that is the background. Now for the background, I was thinking of keeping it simple, nothing too crazy because the main focal point is my boy David. And as you can see, he's very blue. <laughs> So to break up that blue and blue, I am going in with a really pretty pastel pink just to like cover it up and break it up. And y'all thought that I was done with the, the makeup sponges, but oh no, I am just getting started with those because now instead of just having pink, I'm going to add in some pastel clouds. This way it'll give it a little bit more texture and it won't just be like pink. You know, it won't be overwhelming. I can paint uh, the fridge <laughs> yeah probably not the fridge washer probably not Bowie maybe next video <laughs> I can paint one of my makeup palettes in fact I know for sure this Morphe one is pure black and it would work as a perfect canvas surprise surprise guess who's making a comeback the white pencil for this, I'm not really doing any prepping. I'm just gonna go straight on with the acrylic. And as you can see, I am doing a rendition of the creation of Adam, or at least a little section of it. Now, before I quarantined myself, I literally forgot to go to Hobby Lobby. So I don't have any pink paint <laughs> at all. So I'm gonna mix in some watercolor from Artiza with some white acrylic, yeah? Honestly, I guess the theme of this whole entire video is just like paint everything pink and blue. <laughs> now, instead of having the normal just skin tone colors for the creation of Adam, I thought it'd be cool to experiment a little bit, step outside of my comfort zone, and try like some crazy out there colors. So I replaced the normal skin tone with hot pink and electric blue. Will it turn out? I don't know, but I we're gonna find out. Look, you guys know I am not the best when it comes to acrylic, <laughs> and I'm not afraid to admit it. So I need to clean it up. I'm gonna go in with like a fine tip marker and just like clean up all the areas that need to be sharpened a little bit more, more defined, and just make it look a little bit more anatomically correct. But then I ended up with all these weird dark lines that were drastically different than the packaging. So I decided to go in and just like, screw it, I'm gonna completely cover the whole entire thing in black acrylic. And I went in super, super thick with the acrylic. Like, I didn't even wait for it to dry. I just slapped it on because I wanted to create like a really like ridgy kind of like vinyl texture. That's like the one cool thing about acrylic is you can do like cool textures with it. So we have the old design, which is boring, 
plain, nothing interesting on it, versus the new design, sleek, interesting, colorful, textured. I am so happy with how the texture came out. I think it's so cool, and it gave the palette a facelift. So, Jeffree Star, Anastasia, any of y'all makeup people need me to design your palettes, hit me up. Anyway, guys, thank you so much again for watching. Please stay safe out there, and join me next week when I convince my boyfriend to let me paint on his Switch. <laughs>